it's like bursting out. And like, if you're just done with people, like, you just go into turtle mode. Sometimes you just get a bolt of blow. <sighs> Can't breathe bloat. No blow. So here's an outfit if you really just don't care about trying. Um, I didn't plan what I was gonna say after that. But hi, if you're new here, my name's Kenna and I make videos every Wednesday and Saturday about fashion, food, and lifestyle. If any of that interests you, subscribe. I would love to have you here. Today's video idea happened to come upon me as I was laying in my bed last night, dying. I am wearing shorts. Yes, I am wearing shorts. Don't worry. Today's video idea came upon me last night as I was dying from bloating. If you're a subscriber, then you know that I have issues with bloating and thought I got it figured out, but apparently the medication is not working anymore. I have a virtual appointment with my doctor soon to get that figured out. And if you're extra new here and you don't know me and you've never seen my face before, hi, I'm Kenna, which I already said that. Um, I suffer from gastroparesis and slow intestinal motility. Long story short, I had um, I had a surgery and that helped the gastroparesis a lot. Um, my intestines are still slow, nothing. I'm trying medications to help with that, but I, honestly, everything's kind of a mess. My GI system is a mess. It's not working. I need a refund. Anybody else know where I can get a new GI system? Let me know and if I can return mine because <laughs> it's broken. Uh, that was a really bad joke. This intro is already too long and I haven't even explained what I'm doing yet. And this video is going to be long. So if you can bear with me for a little bit as I figure out what I want to say. Today's video idea came upon me last night as I was dying from bloating. And I was like, okay, let's make a good out of the situation. As you know, I like fashion. I love fashion. I love putting together outfits, I love clothes, all that. But sometimes my bloating gets in the way because I'm like, I feel awful and I can't fit into half of my clothes if I'm gonna be honest and I don't want like restricting clothes because it makes me uncomfortable when I'm super bloated and I was like you know what let's film an outfits idea video but bloating edition so I'm gonna be showing you 50 50 maybe even more I don't know how many I picked out I picked out a lot but I'm like you know what we're just we're gonna go big go big or go home right I mean that's the rule that my bloating follows so <laughs> might as well do it with this too but I'm going to do 50 outfit ideas for when you're super bloated because I have a lot of experience with this so I think I think I can get some good outfits out there so I'm gonna have outfits for every single occasion so I got you there's something for everybody I have outfits for if it's warm if it's cold if it's kind of warm kind of cold in the middle I have formal outfits I have casual outfits I have kind of formal kind of casual outfits and I have outfits where you can literally if you just feel like being a potato I got those outfits for you too. There's outfits for everyone, every occasion. Here you go. Here's your bloating guide to fashion. Your fashion guide for blo- mm, I don't know. Okay, I need to stop talking and let's just get right into this. Slide, right? Slide transition. Am I already starting to regret my decision? Yes, because this is a lot of outfits. Few disclaimers. No, I will not be doing shoes because that is just- that is too many. Life hack for you. White sneakers and a pair of like neutral loafers, like brown tan loafers, you're good to go. Those are the only shoes that you're gonna need for all of these outfits, I promise you. They will look good with every single one of them. And then second, I'm gonna show you my bralette, I guess, that I'm gonna wear, which is just the free people one. This one is very comfortable, goes with absolutely everything. So this is just what I wear on a daily basis that's comfortable, but if you don't want this one, then Target usually has like good bralettes, so like this one. It is just really soft and nice. And then I also have this little sports bra thing from, I got it, I thrifted this, but it's just a little sports bra from Calvin Klein. This one isn't like too tight, so that one's really comfortable as well, but I will most likely just be wearing this one because it is my favorite, it's cute, goes with everything, worth the investment. So I think that is all that I wanna say and I'm gonna get into the outfits now. All these outfits have my bloating seal of approval because this whole outfit video is brought to you by someone who experiences bloating on a daily basis and navigates fashion through bloat. Ugh. I don't know what I'm saying, but I just ate as well, so I'm going to be bloated. Let's go. Here we go. Outfit number one. If you literally don't feel like dressing up at all, here's the outfit for you. It's perfect for lounging around in. It is super soft, super warm, and like if you're just done with people and you don't want to talk to them, you just go into turtle mode. Bam. Done. Okay, let's move on to the next outfits. I'm gonna start out strong and I'm gonna do skirts, dresses, and like dressy outfits. 
let's go okay so here's outfit number one and like i said i'm starting off strong with some skirt so the key is to find skirts that aren't too like constricting on you and usually for some reason i find that like mini skirts or maxi skirts just don't suck you in too much so i just have this one and pairing it with a little sweater depending on how you're feeling you can like tuck it in be all cute but if you want to hide your blow just you know wear something a little bit larger and let it hang there you go and this one i have to be a little bit more confident because you will be able to see the blow let's see you see it it's like bursting out there we go but if you go like this uh, you can still kind of see it, but oh well. Oh well. Okay. And like I said, this is for winter. So for summer or spring, just switch it out with like a little t-shirt. Graphic tee, I think is cute and adds some spice and pizzazz. So you can either just, like I said, depending on your mood, you can just wear it like this. Not the cutest, but comfortable. Or you can tuck it in if you're feeling super adventurous or just like do a little tie tied up bam outfit this is when you want to go somewhere and look cute but you're super loaded there you go okay i'm going to show you another midi skirt outfit so if this isn't your style or your vibe i got something else for you oh my god i'm out of breath literally i feel like bloating acts like you are actually pregnant because you cannot breathe you are out of breath whenever you try to speak walk or just do anything now that i feel like i just ran a couple miles after changing an outfit let me show you the next one and another way to kind of dress up your outfits is obviously jewelry accessories headbands all of that um if you're feeling really up to it do that but like i said right now i'm just personally not in the mood to mess with any of that and that's okay so here's another type of style so i just have this mini skirt which is like this leopard polka dot print everyone knows this type of mini skirt it was trendy a couple years ago i was really late to the game but here i am and a little life hack for you is just to buy skirts that are like one to two sizes too big for you because it will allow for the growth of your stomach when you're not bloated obviously it's going to be a little bit big but like it, it still kind of works but when you are bloated it fits perfectly which i don't know if i should be excited or mad about but here's this one and i just paired it with like a you know pg nude top to make it more monochromatic you can tuck it in like i said do the same thing or tie it and let's count how many times i say below or show you my blow in this picture but or in this video here we go just comfy but if you want to feel cute put together this is perfect and like i said this is the summer version let me show you the winter one here you go winter one i feel like if you had ladies this would be the perfect outfit for a night out with the ladies i'd probably wear black booties with these but since i don't have ladies i'd go out with my boyfriend in this outfit here we go very nice very cute on to the next one this next outfit features a mini skirt. This is the only mini skirt that I can really wear when I'm bloated because this is the only one that's not like too tight. And honestly, it is starting to become too tight. So I feel like my bloat is just starting to become just enormous. Plaid skirt, it makes you look cute and all like schoolgirl-like, which is really trendy and popular right now. And I bet you all the private school kids are probably like, we've been rocking that trend forever but i have this one which is really mini and if you're feeling really spicy spice it up with a crop top sometimes you just gotta own the bloat you gotta you gotta work it you gotta show it off and just show people who's in charge because if you can flaunt your bloat you are unstoppable if it's cold and you want to feel even more like a schoolgirl, throw on a little crew neck this one has a little collar i thrifted this one um i don't know if this is going up first or my goodwill outlet haul but if this one is going up first which i think it will be this is a spoiler alert. I got this from the Goodwill outlet. Okay. Or if it's only like moderately cold, throw on your favorite comfy long sleeve. This one is also thrifted from the outlet and it is so comfy. Very nice. Obviously, if you want to tuck it in, but if not, like this is fine too. And lastly, here's another t-shirt where if you aren't feeling brave enough to show off the blow, which is fine because I hardly ever am, then this one is long enough to kind of conceal what's going on under here. And even if you like tuck it in, you can still, I feel like, kind of make it look like you don't have a ginormous stomach that is filled with gas and or fecal matter. Let's move on to a dress. As I was going through my closet, I realized that I only have one bloat-friendly dress, and that is this one. It's just very loose, not tight-fitting, can't even tell, very comfortable. It's like that stretchy material, and it's just super loose. Yes, I am wearing shorts. Don't worry. If you have any bloat-friendly dress recommendations, let me know, because I would like to pick up a couple. If my shirt is bunched up, pretend like you don't see it, but another nice 
outfit is a jumpsuit. Get ones that are comfy and looser and bigger so you can just kind of move around and your stomach can expand and all of that. This is an outfit that I would wear if I know I'm not gonna go to the bathroom a lot, you know, that day. Sometimes I can tell, oh, today I feel like I'm gonna go to the bathroom a lot. Or other days it's like, will I ever go to the bathroom? It's been 87 years and I still have not used the bathroom. Again, if you can see my shirt bunched up, no, you can't. Here's a winter and more formal undershirt, I guess you could say. And it's just this nice little white turtleneck, which I also thrifted. It's very cute. Look at it. Look at the little collar. Very cute. Look at the little sleeves. Bam, you look cute. No one would ever know that you are dying inside. I swear, outfit videos are an extreme sport. Ugh, okay, let's reassemble myself here. And here's another little jumpsuit option. Opt for a like little monochromatic type of look to make yourself look even more put together because I don't know, I just feel like it looks like you put a lot of thought and effort into your outfit when you did it. From the top, make it drop. Nope. Why did I do that? Now I can't breathe. If you have to work at an office with bloating, I am so sorry. I I honestly don't know how you do it because I feel like there's such limited clothing items that you can feel comfortable in. But life hack, comfortable paper bag pants size up and make sure it has like a tie that actually adjusts because then you can adjust it depending on how big your bloat is. Fun fact, I wore this outfit to go drop off my resume at a hospital to try to get my dream job, which in turn I did not get and then cried for three days straight, but at least I looked cute while attempting to get my dream job, so yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, um, next shirt. I honestly don't know on what occasion you'd wear like this combination of outfits because like usually if you wear pants this nice, you need a nicer top and not just a white t-shirt. But if for some reason you do have an occasion or you just want to feel, you just feel like wearing nice pants but not a nice shirt, this is the outfit for you. Or you could opt for a little cropped cardigan, which I think would be so cute. Very cute, very nice. So you know that TikTok that's like, so you think I'm scared? You know that one? I feel like these pants give me that illusion that they don't even know what's underneath. From here, it's like, oh, you got your life together. And you don't feel like crap, even though you are full of it. Literally, ugh. Here's another little dressy option. These are just a pair of black. I don't know, they're not really dress pants, but I feel like they could pass as dress pants. And once again, they just have a tie waist that's adjustable and has a little elastic band in the back so you can take into account how big your stomach is. And then find button up shirts that are that soft material. Obviously, if you can, I don't know about corporate and what kind of clothes that you have to wear. And here is an option for like a long sleeve, which is just a sweater. So if you can have like a more casual laid back look this is an option for you as well okay that is all for like the nicer stuff i'm now going to switch out my rack and go grab my comfy clothes <sighs> mm, can't breathe but i thought that i was kind of close to done but i was quite mistaken but let's move on to the next round of clothes which are comfy let me talk to you about one thing first the necessity. Let me, I need to like sit for this because I'm about to give you some enlightening information. The one pair of leggings that I can wear when I am bloated is the Lululemon Align leggings. I'm telling you, I cannot wear any other leggings because I feel like they are too tight. I mean, when I'm not bloated, I can, but when I am bloated, the only leggings that I can put on my body are the Lululemon Aligns. I know they are expensive, but they are so worth the investment. They're just so soft and they just, so stretchy and it doesn't feel it doesn't feel tight against your body. I think it gives you what they call like a naked feeling. Is that a bad word on the internet? I don't know, but I think that's what they like market as and that is literally what they feel. So I currently only have two pairs. So I have black and I have a pink, which you will see. These are the leggings that changed the game. So Lululemon, if you are watching this, can you sponsor me so I can get some more of these? And can you give me some extra so I can do a giveaway? Because I know a lot of my subscribers also have a lot of bloating issues. So if I could give away a pair of Lululemon Aligns to each and every one of you, I would. So hit up Lululemon and let them know that these, you know what, these get my bloating stamp of approval. And I'm gonna try outfits on now. First outfit featuring leggings is just a giant t-shirt and these leggings. They expand to allow the bloat. Wow, that's bad. I need to get this figured out. They expand to allow the bloat then giant t-shirt covers. You would never know. You would never know. If you have a Zoom meeting to attend to, here's the app for you. Comfy legging, and then on top, I just have this very loose, like silk 
tank top with my bralette underneath and a nice comfy blazer. It's not stiff and structured, it's kind of just lays and falls on your body. So yeah. nice on top, comfy on the bottom, perfect for 2020 learning and work. If you can see my pepperonis, no, you can't. So if I am feeling just spicy and embracing the bloat, this is the outfit because obviously comfy. And then this top is from Free People and it is so soft, so comfy. It expands. It doesn't feel tight on me. I absolutely love it. I would definitely like get this in more colors, but I'm trying not to spend all my money on the same top. This is my outfit that I wore to the ER. If you want to get the look, this is this was the look. Here's another outfit with the same leggings. And this one is kind of more, it's like casual, but you want to look a little bit nicer. And I just have this cute little ruffle tank top. I'm covering this up because I don't, I don't know, you can probably see through, but I would just wear um, the little pasties. Those work really well. I will try to remember to link my favorite ones down below. So I just have this cute little ruffle crop tank top, absolutely adorable. And over the top, the softest cardigan, bloat, no bloat. And here is another nicer outfit if you need to dress up on top, but the bottom really doesn't matter that much. So I just have another little white tank top, and then this blazer is super cute, and I actually thrifted this from the Goodwill outlet. Like I said, stay tuned for that haul because I got so much stuff, and it is insane. This blazer, I absolutely love it. It is so cute, and once again, very comfortable, very breathable. I don't feel constrictive because some shirts usually aren't tight and like wouldn't bother you, but when you are bloated, you feel like everything kind of closing in on you and squeezing you, and it just makes you feel like you're being suffocated by clothes. I don't I don't know if that's ever happened to you but that does happen to me so that's why depending on the day i have to like pick and choose like what clothes that i'm feeling it changes so often now let's move on to I think my pink lululemons i just i love these leggings like i said my bloating stamp of approval perfect beautiful if you're in that mood just destroy your stuff embrace the bloat here's a little outfit for you as i was saying before a pair of leggings and graphic tee is honestly the way to go if you just want to be comfortable but to spice it up wear some colored leggings and a top with that color that kind of brings it out to pop so you're just like this bright little pop of color and you just feel fun and not like dead even though that's how you feel you can do anything you want you can tuck it in you can wear it longer you can tie it whatever you are feeling or just something easy as well just throw on a little sweatshirt this one is usually a safe one for me like i said if something is too thick or too constricting when i'm bloated it just feels so suffocating but this one does not for me it is super thin super stretchy not too tight and it just kind of lays on my body lightly so i don't feel that way and here's just a nice big sweater and this one is cropped so obviously this is for a day where i really don't care about how big my bloat looks now Oh, I'm so excited to show you the next outfits because I made them actually. But anyways, I don't have any sweatpants outfits in this video because I have like a couple pairs of sweatpants, but I don't like how any of them fit. And the ones that I do like how they fit, they're too constricting and too tight on the waistband that I can't wear them when I'm bloated. So if you have sweatpants recommendations as well, please let me know because I would like a pair. Okay, please don't make fun of me because I made these and this one was my very first item that I sewed on my sewing machine. So it's rough, I know but I'm working on getting better and stay tuned for a thrift lift. So I just made this little sweater set out of a giant sweater that I got from the Goodwill outlet. Here's one. And the good thing about this is you customize it to yourself. You can crop the sweater however short that you want. And when you make the waistband, you do the elastic however tight you want. I didn't pull it super tight around my waist when measuring the elastic. So that way I can have room for the bloat. You know, the things that you think about when you, your GI system is messed up. Then I made a gray one. This one is sewn a little bit better because I learned from my mistakes that I made in the first one. Very cute. I love them. So comfortable. So soft. And then I also made a blue one. And I love this one because it's so cute and so unique. And also all of these sweaters were thrifted from the Goodwill Alley too. So they're all only like a dollar and get a whole outfit out of it. That's bloating approved. Bloating stamp of approval. If someone who has an iPad in Procreate, I don't know why anyone would do this, but if someone does have an iPad in Procreate, does someone want to like draw me like a little stamp icon that says Kenna's bloating stamp of approval? And then whenever I like wear outfits and make outfit videos, then I can put that stamp on screen. Do you see the vision that I see? So I'll go like bloating stamp of approval. Then I will do this and like a sound effect and like the little graphic stamp will come up with someone who designed it. Honestly, I think it's genius, but will this video ever reach anyone? I don't know. Let's move on. Another outfit idea is biker shorts. So these ones do not quite have my bloating stamp of approval, but I know there's gotta be biker shorts out there that do. I wanted to show this outfit just in case someone does have biker shorts that fit them and make you feel comfortable while you are bloated. First and probably easiest outfit, graphic tee and biker shorts. Or if it is cold, which I know it's fall in a lot of places now, just throw on a sweatshirt. Wear 
wear a colored one for an extra spice and extra pizzazz but i do not have an oversized colored sweatshirt so this gray one will have to do but wear a colored one or switch it up and wear like colored um biker shorts I'm gonna show you kind of like a nicer biker short outfit. And here's that outfit. So I'm just wearing like this little tank top. You can move it out, you can tuck it in, and do whatever you want. And then this button up, I'm just wearing it like a cardigan. And there you go, a way to dress up biker shorts. I feel like this is a good outfit to go to the grocery store in where it's like, I want to look cute going to the grocery store because it's one of the only times I'm leaving the house, but I don't feel like going all out. This is what you wear. So it's kind of in between. Very nice. <sighs> So here's an outfit if you really just don't care about trying, which sometimes that's just how it is. Just a nice long sleeve t-shirt, which you saw earlier in this video. And these shorts, like I said, these shorts are in a size too big for me because if I got the actual size, the elastic waistband on these would just feel like it's too tight and restricting me. Yeah, this is literally what I wore this morning up until I filmed this video because it is just comfy. And the first thing that I saw, I'm like, you know what? That is just what I'm gonna wear. Or if you want to look a little bit more cohesive, I don't know how much more cohesive this looks, just throw on a little crew neck sweatshirt, anything that kind of, excuse me. Anyways, if you want to look a little bit more matching and cohesive, like I said, just wear a crew neck and some shorts. And I feel like this looks a little bit more put together than the last one, but still just probably one of the most comfortable outfits that you can wear. Another pair of Lululemons that I can wear, and I don't know what style these are. I will try to link them down below if they're still available, but they are comfy and the waistband is not too tight, so they don't feel constricting. And you can dress these up, dress these down. They're so comfortable, they're breathable, they're movable. Sorry, my energy tank is running low, so I'm not as excited as I was at the beginning of this video because 50 outfits is honestly a lot more than I, I thought. I thought it was gonna be Gucci. I thought I was gonna be roaring the whole time. But, you no, know, it kind of feels like there is no end, but there is an end soon. But here's just another shirt with it. If you, like I said, if it's cold and you need to do long sleeves, here's a long sleeve button up, oversized and just tied it, and there we go. And that is like all for this category of clothes. Honestly, my hair is a mess too. I don't know what to do with it. And now I'm gonna go get the final category of clothes, I guess, which is kind of like the in-between where it's not more formal, but it's not just like leggings and sweatpants and biker shorts and stuff. Yeah, it's in-between, it's casual, whatever. I'm gonna go get it, you'll see. <laughs> There's an end inside. That's the last of my clothes that I have to try on. So <laughs> I'm almost there, but. Here's the next outfit, and this is just, I don't know, like a cute little outfit for a day outside, going out, doing stuff. But once again, this is the hack. Get things that are paper bag, but a couple sizes too big for you because I, then the elastic fits perfectly around your stomach. So very cute, thrifted these. If you want something more fun, throw on a fun little button up. Once again, I thrifted this one at the Goodwill outlet, so keep an eye out for that haul. This is very soft, very comfy, comfy, very comfy, and it looks fun, fresh, has spice. Looks like you're having the time of your life picking out your fashion, picking out your outfits. Okay, next. Okay, and here's an option for if it's a little bit colder. It's like a, what is it, three-quarter sleeve and a little nice yellow color, has some nice detail. You can see it, very nice, very cute. And here's a fun little sweatshirt because it's comfy and it has a little elastic at the bottom, which is amazing because it's adjustable. So depending on how uh, giant your stomach is that day, you can adjust it based on your needs. And bam, cute, adorable, comfortable. Once again, one of those sweatshirts that doesn't feel like it's suffocating you. Have my floating stamp of approval. And here is another pair of shorts that are elastic and a size too big for me to allow for the bloat. These were thrifted, very cute. I wore these to Disney the other day and I felt awesome. I felt beautiful, I felt cute. And here I'm just pairing it with a graphic tee because graphic tees are an easy way to spice up your outfit. I can't believe I was still late to the game. And for if it's colder and you wanna dress it up a little bit, here's a little cardigan to wear. Once again, this is not too tight, has room to move and grow in and it's such a beautiful color i love it it's from h&m and i think it was only like 12 dollars if i remember correctly and i honestly don't know how this one's gonna look but i just thought i'd try it out this is just a men's button-up that i thrifted and cropped and i hemmed it so if the hem looks a little rough go easy on me it's one of the first shirts i've ever hemmed so here's this little outfit. Okay, new battery is acquired because it died, obviously, because I've been filming for quite some time. But here is the next outfit.
fit. These pants, very comfortable, stretchy, and they were too big for me when I bought them. And now they fit me almost perfectly because I have expanded my stomach. So this is just a little cropped tee, which I also have to myself so if the hem looks crooked, it is. And uh, you don't have to tell me because I know. So here's just a little button up with it if you want to look fun, fancy, and fresh. This next top with these pants is perfect if you just feel like being a blob. Never be ashamed for wanting to feel like a blob. Lo and behold, something else that I thrifted from the Goodwill outlet. Oh, this feels good. This feels good. That is all. Last pair of pants and guess what? It's a pair of jeans, which I was not originally gonna do a uh, jeans outfit because jeans is the absolute last thing that I feel like putting on when I'm bloated. Like I can't even look at them without um, suffocating and feeling so uncomfortable. But uh, do the hack where you buy things a couple sizes too large and it just doesn't feel too tight on you. So that's what I have. These are my boyfriend's jeans that he thrifted and I'm gonna put some outfits together with them. But I would hardly ever Ever wear these if I'm actually bloated this would just be if I am going out somewhere and I really want to look cute and I'd be like F you bloating you can't stop me from being cute and being fashionable but that is on a very rare occasion and here you go your basic just jeans and t-shirt outfit we all know that we can dress it up with jewelry and accessories so that's what you want to do do it also I got this white t-shirt from Target for five dollars and it is so soft so go check out Target I guess the D but as you can see like these are too big so it allows room for expansion it allows room for expansion and they're not tight around the legs so they're not suffocating there this shirt returns i feel like this is a very vintage retro vibe like hi i am vintage mm, that is that and final outfit yay yeah it's just a button-up with some jeans this button-up is like my favorite long sleeve button-up because i love the pattern i love like the i just love the pattern it's very unique and it spices up your white button-up and it is silky soft it is so soft i'm running out of words i've used up all my words but it is soft no suffocation Yay. Okay, oh, I'm gonna kneel down for this outro because like I said, I am out of breath, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope this gave you some ideas for outfits to wear when you are bloated because I know that it is so uncomfortable to deal with this and I really hope that I can get it figured out. I thought I got it figured out, but apparently I don't. And for me, it's kind of frustrating because I mean, it's frustrating for everyone, but one of the things that frustrates me about it is the fashion aspect because I can't wear the clothes that I love and the clothes that I bought don't fit me anymore because my stomach is just so distended and bloated it's really frustrating for me and sometimes i'm just like oh, i just wish i could dress cute and then i go on like instagram tiktok facebook all that and i see girls wearing these cute outfits i'm like i wish i could wear that but i just feel so like i feel the discomfort already without even putting on the outfit so this was kind of fun for me to do as well to see that i can still dress cute if i want to when i'm bloated so yeah anyways i hope this helped you with outfit ideas when you're bloated or just you know outfit ideas in general because i feel like some of them are actually super super cute i hope you enjoyed the video please 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 can you please just do just do one thing for me or i guess a couple things can you like this video and can you comment something because that would help me out so much i would really appreciate that i mean i already love you guys forever but i will love you even more than forever if you give this video a like and comment because it will help me out so much i promise you it will and just thank you so much for your support and just watching this video if you made it this far just thank you and once again if you have a dress recommendation or sweat pet sweat pet, sweatpant recommendation leave those down below if not just comment something anything that you want i would love to talk to you have a conversation with you let me know how you're doing if you're bloated and you have any tips let me know i feel like i've tried absolutely everything but maybe there isn't something that i've tried yet that is helping you so just let me know and i hope you enjoyed the video once again and i hope to see you in my next one bye